Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. My name is Darren Little from Denver, and I want to welcome you to the exclusive and private VIP broadcast. We're getting... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got that funny feedback, but now you can go ahead, Darren, because it came back when I came back on. I don't know why. So keep going. Okay, great, great, great. So, guys, you know, if you're tuning in here for the very first time, um, what we're going to be showing you today is how to be able to roll out a business, an online business, and to be able to make money every day of the week. Okay. And it's not just you. I'm talking about to be able to help your entire team to be able to make money too. Now, one of the biggest challenges in our industry in direct sales, network marketing, or MLM is that most people can't recruit. Most people can't sell their products. So what they end up with is a monthly auto ship that comes in that they have to pay for, and they go further and further and further and further down the rabbit hole and into debt. OK, and they end up stacking up their spare bedroom with their auto ship products or their garage, like what happened for me when I was uh, selling products. And um, it can become very, very frustrating, especially when they see some of the top income earners making seven figures or multiple seven figures or even eight figures. And they can't recruit their way out of a wet paper bag. Okay. It becomes very, very frustrating. And in the event that you're working with heart-centered leaders, it's even more frustrating for them when, when they can't get their team to recruit or sell products, right? So we have something very, very unique and special here in that once you get set up, right, and you start your business, uh, it takes 10 days, right, to get everything all set up for your business. And then after that, you're going to be getting paid daily, okay? And that, that will continue with one of your packages for between 1,100 and 1,200 days. Now, I can tell you that just in the last nine days or so, um, I've generated over $31,000 um, Canadian funds. And just in the, in the campaign that we've rolled out, um, I've already generated over $200,000. So I can tell you that in the test marketing that we've already done, right, in multiple different campaigns, I can tell you that we've got a home run hit here. And you want to pay very, very close attention to what you're about to hear today. Now, what I would encourage you to do is to turn off all of your distractions, right? Turn off your Facebook Turn off your phone, right? If you've got children, uh, put yourself into a quiet area, shut the door, tell them that you'll be on a, a broadcast for about an hour. And you want to pay very, very close attention to what we're about to teach you today. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to my business partner, eight-figure income earner, Mr. Ari Maccabee. Hey, Darren, I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Hey guys, so listen, I'm sorry we always have a little bit of technical difficulties. I know it's partially because of my uh, my internet here in, in the Philippines, unfortunately. It's a little slower than normal where I'm used to be. But guys, listen, I think we have the absolute best program I have ever seen. I'm always smiling about it. I'm always talking about it. You know, I was just having a chat actually earlier with the owner. In fact, you know, I, I don't normally show this kind of stuff, but I wanted, I wanted you guys to hear something. You know, like this is what I wrote to the owner earlier. I said, I can tell you, uh, oh, whoops, hold up. So he goes, uh, I said, uh, I've turned down some big offers for only this aisle. I'm happy here. My team is happy. Even the ones that joined who I had previously blocked and now are back are happy. This is the first and only time, Darren will tell you this, that we've had 100% of the people super excited about a program. And we have now some very big people in the industry reaching out to us, talking to us, about joining this because this is the one guys this is the one i mean when i say that it's as clean as a whistle i'm going to show it to you i'm going to prove it to you beyond a shadow of a doubt in a few minutes but more importantly guys everyone loves the company even my son back here on the computer right now 
is making money in this company. In fact, Micah, how much money has your account got in it right now? Say that again. It's got a little under 20 grand. 20,000 dollars, guys. This that's an in-home testimonial right there. I mean, guys, this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Let me go ahead and open up my uh, screen and let's get up here and let's talk about what we're here for. Uh, Darren, can you see this if you can? Uh, just give me a, a little tap or something on my Facebook account so I get it on my phone. If you can't, uh, also you know text me on my phone, guys. Last week, I know we had some technical difficulties as I rolled through this. So if there's a problem, text me. I actually have my uh, phone in hand this time, so we won't have that again. So in any case, guys, my name's Ari McAbee, and tonight we're going to talk about who I am and how I got involved, what I found out when I was doing my research. We're going to talk about Ayal Avramovich, who he is and why it matters. We're going to talk about Mine Best and Mining City, the relationship between the two companies and how they came to be. And then we're going to talk about Obviously, how you can earn a full time income from home or online or anywhere in the world with just a laptop and Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Sorry if I get a little congested and I got to pause for a second, guys. I'm just getting over a cold. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a network marketer. I got in this industry, guys, when I was 19. But truth be told, I grew up in a household where my dad did Amway, Herbalife, Shackley, all types of things. And unfortunately, he didn't do so good at it because, he, you know, he was an advertising agent. He traveled a lot. He was all over the world. And or I should say all over North America. And for me, you know, I was in the military. I joined the military when I was 17 years old, went to basic, went back to uh, the military, was stationed in March Air Force Base in Southern California. And uh, my buddy and I, we were looking for a part time job. We found something in a newspaper that looked really, you know, unique um, around the insurance industry field. So we decided to go in for an interview. We, you know, my buddy's the one that drove. So, you know, we got there, went in for the interview. And while we were there waiting, my buddy found out it was a network marketing company and he bailed and said to me, hey, go ahead and do what you're going to do and I'll come back and get you. I'm going to go eat and I'll be back like an hour. So I ended up staying that day, went through the presentation with everybody, uh, decided I liked what I heard with A.O. Williams because we were in a war. We were in Desert Storm at the time. And I thought this would be a wonderful opportunity for me to get involved in a network marketing space. And I was right. I ended up becoming one of the top 10 reps in Southern California in less than a year. I was a top earner in Equinox, number two money earner in ACI. Guys, I've been around the space literally since I was a little kid, but been working it since I was 19. And um, unfortunately, you know, I had a bad experience that drove me out of the industry for a while. I went into the car business for a while and uh, eventually left the car business after I went through a bad divorce where I had two little boys that were ages three and the youngest was seven months. Who's Micah sitting behind me? <laughs> so you guys know. And uh I needed a way that I could basically earn from home and I could actually take care of my kids full time. So I started a mortgage business. <clears throat> it was while I was doing the mortgage business that I actually discovered something called cost per acquisition advertising, which is uh, very hot in the internet marketing space. It's one of the most lucrative, uh, lucrative verticals in, in internet marketing. And I got heavily involved in the lead generation side of it. And a few years later, I actually got back in network marketing when a buddy of mine actually invited me to a meeting for World Ventures when they were first launching. And uh, when I came back, the nice part was I was coming back with a whole new set of skills. I had massive amounts of leads that I could generate for just about anything. And that basically put me on a leaderboard in almost every program that I ever joined. But something happened in 2014 that, that put me in a really bad situation. I went through a horrible divorce. And that divorce led me into a deep spot with depression. Eventually uh, packed all my things. I moved across the ocean to the Philippines. Um, not in a good spot in my life, just to be brutal with you. And because of that, I kind of rushed into joining some things. And you know, I trusted some of the wrong people, their due diligence, because I had never done a program strictly online. It was new to me in 2014. And uh, basically I got caught in a few scams. Those things really, uh, they frustrated me. And, you know, obviously somebody coming out of depression, that wasn't a good thing. You know, I lost a bunch of money in a deal in 2017 where the company shut down after doing a major event. Three days later, they took off with over $230,000 of my commissions and a bunch of money that my team also was owed in their inv the investment money and so on and so forth. And that, it really pissed me off, guys. And I stopped taking anybody's word for anything. I just started doing all my own due diligence and in-depth in research on every company prior to joining. 
And about a year and a half ago, I started a group called the Is It a Scam Group, maybe two years ago by now. Uh, hold up one second, guys. Here, let me turn my air con down a little bit. But I started the Is It a Scam Group. And while I was there in that group, one of my members came to me and said, Ari, I think I found a new scam. And they showed me a website that looked like this photo over here that had Mining City on one of them and had MindBest on another one. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is another scam. They just cloned a real company's website. So I called it a scam. And, uh, you know, it was kind of funny because when I called it a scam, I then got a message from Ayal Avramovich, who I had no idea who was, who he was at all. He reached out to me. We had a great conversation. He was basically telling me, Ari, I'm really appreciative that you're warning companies of these scams, but I assure you, MindBest or Mining City, they're not scams. I own MindBest. And Mining City is a company that my ex-vice president basically, you know, started as a spinoff to do marketing for our company. And as the story progressed, he, I started to find out a little bit about his background, about him being an inventor, first in the Israeli military and then moving to the private sector. I found out he got in cryptocurrency back in 2015, 2016. He started mining crypto in 2017 when he started his own company called MindBest where he and his family basically invested $1.5 million of their own money to start that firm. Uh, MindBest went on to receive awards and accolades, guys from companies all around the world, including from Bitmain themselves, the world's biggest manufacturer of mining equipment. And then also, uh, you know, as an inventor, you know, he's got one of these minds where he's always doing something. One of the things that he created was Bitcoin Vault. You know, in 2018, he saw a need for an anti-theft coin because the crypto space had been, you know, hacked several times. Several exchanges have been hacked and Bitcoin had been stolen and so on and so forth. And nobody likes to see that in the industry. And IO was looking for a, a, a solution to the problem. And that's how Bitcoin Vault came about. But if you actually were to go and do this yourself, and I encourage you guys to do it because I think it's really important that you guys actually do a little due diligence and know what I'm talking about is factual. I suggest you guys go to Google, you type in Ayal Avramovich Inventor, you type in Ayal Avramovich Patents, and you'll find things like these that pop up with all different types of things that he's invented from postal scales to body fat scales, you know, to, to weaving massage robots, to different types of battery technology. There's just all types of things that he's invented and he owns the patents on today. Still, the one thing that I did when I found those is I started to track them back to the companies that were actually part of the patent. And when I say that, I'm not saying that they were they were uh, they were um, owners of the patent, but they were the user of the patent. So one of the companies happened to be Thinium. So when I went to their website, Thinium.com, I clicked on more and then about and then this page popped up. Now, keep in mind, he doesn't work there and hasn't for a long time. But one thing that you'll see right here is it says Chief Technologist Ayal Avramovich has extensive experience in both the military and advanced commercial technology, developing the most innovative and revolutionary products and portable technology today. So we know that this is factual. This website's been around for years, guys. The other one is Gigalinks. Gigalinks is a big company. I've known about Gigalinks forever. And the cool part is I, I didn't know this company was an a Israeli company at the time. Well, I did find out it was an Israeli based company. In fact, he had been the CEO of it when they made a product called the Gigalinks converter that they sold to Sony for millions of dollars, putting them in the profit. In fact, these are some of the products that he made right here for Thinium. This is the Gigalinks converter I was telling you about. He sold to Sony. This is the Weemi massage robot that was sold on QVC, which is like the home shopping network, where they did over $400,000 in profits in a single day, guys, selling this product. So we knew all of these things about him so far were, were real. The one thing that really threw me and really got me to pay attention to this company was when I went to Google and I typed in Ayal Avramovich without the colons featured speaker or Ayal Avramovich without the colons keynote speaker. You know, when I did this, what was really crazy is I found a man that wasn't just in the mining industry. I found somebody who was well-respected in the mining industry and has spoken at around about 20 different events all over the world for cryptocurrency mining. So this was a guy that was in the space that was invited to come speak at an event or, you know, a mining summit or whatever you guys want to call it, a convention, 
but he wasn't just a speaker. He was the featured speaker. He was the main course to the dinner plate, guys. Now, this really got my attention when I saw this. So when I asked him, you know, the next question obviously was, I explained to me how this company came apart and uh, how it came about. And this was the story he told me. He says, you know, my, my uh, vice president of marketing, Greg and I, we were over in Korea. We were speaking at an event. And one of the guys in the audience had heard what we were saying, and he thought the company he was currently working with was taking advantage of him. And he pulled us aside and asked us through a translator if we would sit down and speak to him. And uh, when I heard that, I asked him, what's the guy's name? And he said, Hanil Park. Now, this is a weird deal because Hanil Park, I actually knew because he had been in a company I was with. He owns International Digital Asset Management Group. And uh, John, who actually works with him, actually flew into Manila sat down with me and had a conversation with myself and Chris Jones or Chris Hawk Jones, as you guys may know. And um, when we heard the whole story, you know, from not just IL, but from the other side of the, of the group, it made sense because these guys already had a successful company in mind best. They didn't have a need to open up a secondary company until they met Hanil Park because his deal was, I can bring you thousands of people to promote your mining farm and bring you customers if you will set up an affiliate program. Well, because IAL has contracts with the government of Kazakhstan, he did not want to in intrude on those, those uh, contracts. He wanted to set up something separate. So eventually what they decided was Greg would already do what he was doing at Mine Best. He would do marketing. So he slid over and become the CEO of Mining City Hanil Park became the master distributor of, of Mining City, and together they have actually built up Mining City to one of the best companies in the world. In fact, the fastest company to $1 billion in MLM history is Mining City, and it happened because of these two gentlemen. Now, let's talk about the company itself. So we're all here to talk about uh, Mining City, but most of you guys know a little bit about cryptocurrency and blockchain. So I'm not going to really run through all of this, but I am going to touch on some of it. You know, obviously with cryptocurrency, there's a need for it in today's society. I mean, if you look around the world, you find out that dollars, euros, just about every type of currency on the face of the planet has always been counterfeited. It's been a major issue. I mean, you go to McDonald's, you give them $20 to buy something. What do they do? They reach in the drawer, they grab a marker to verify and see if the coin is real. But today, there's technology that those markers can't even de detect. Some fake currency actually makes it th through. This is the beauty of cryptocurrency in itself. Number one, it cannot be counterfeited. It is absolutely impossible to counterfeit. The second thing is it gives you a means of storing things digitally. So if you've ever had, you know, like $1,000 and say 20s in your wallet, you know what your wallet's like. You can't put it in your back pocket. You can't sit on it. You really don't want to put it in your front pocket because it's too big and too fat. But with Bitcoin, you can walk around with $100,000 on your cell phone very easily. It's very simple because it's all digital. The other thing that's a really big plus in it is it does not require the presence of a central authority like, say, a bank or a government. You are your bank. You control it. You. That makes this beautiful, guys. The other side of it is the blockchain. The blockchain itself is a decentralized ledger. It's open to anybody. It's a chain of blocks that are basically linked together, and each block contains information of transactions detailing who's participating in the transaction, plus the date, the time, the amount transferred, and then each block discourse a unique code, which we call the hash, to distinguish it from other blocks. So this is how it basically works. Person A sends money to person B or Bitcoin to person B. The nodes, which is the mining network, they confirm the transaction and verify the accuracy and the validity of everything. That's why you can't counterfeit because they check every single transaction. Every time a coin is sent, it does a verification. Once it's actually solved, you get the hash and it's added to the blockchain. Now, with cryptocurrency, guys, there's really only two ways to obtain it. You can buy it or you can mine it. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no other ways to create it, okay? Uh, unless, actually, let me take that back. Unless you actually have a proof of stake coin, you can stake it and then you could obviously earn from staking. But that's a completely different type of coin from a proof of work coin. If you look at, say, coin market cap, most of the coins that have real value 
they're all proof of work, not proof of stake. Okay. Mining in itself, so you guys understand what it really is, is basically the process of adding a transaction record to the cryptocurrency's public ledger, the blockchain, as we just talked about. Once a block is approved and added to the blockchain, when the miners confirm the transaction and solve the complex mathematical problem that's called hash, the first miner to solve this and add the block to the chain receives a block reward in either, say, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Vault, or it could be any other you know type of coin that you're mining. But here we mine Bitcoin and Bitcoin Vault. And each time a block is awarded is roughly every 10 minutes. Now, there's in an hour, there's six 10 minute times, 144 times in a day, somebody could earn a block to actually earn uh, some, some cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin Vault or Bitcoin, okay? So let's talk about the factors in mining because there are a few things that affect it. Obviously the difficulty, as more nodes or more computers basically participate in mining, the difficulty to solve the block or, or obtain the reward is adjusted. If you have more computers, it's gotta be a little harder so the difficulty rate gets higher. But if a, let's say a mining pool comes offline, they have to adjust it to be a little easier so they can keep the average time around 10 minutes every single time. Then you have what we call mining pool. A mining pool is basically where all the computers work together to solve a com that complex mathematical uh, equation as one versus as individual computers. The reason that that's important is because of the next one, the hash rate. The hash is the mathematical problem uh, that the nodes need to solve, but the hash rate is the number of guesses that your miner or your machine can make per second. So if you put a bunch of computers together, they obviously can make more guesses per second to solve that block. And then you have your block reward. This is how people get paid. Whenever you solve the block, you're awarded you know, a block reward. Now, right now, that's 6.25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes or 150 Bitcoin volts every 10 minutes. The other thing you got to pay attention to is the power consumption. Power consumption can basically eat up all your profits. So you want to make sure you have your, your mining in a place where the cost of electricity is low. And then you have what we call pool fees. Anytime you basically come together as a pool, you're roughly going to pay one to three percent to be part of that pool. Average is about 2%, so you guys know. Then you have this thing we call TXID, which is uh, the transmission. Uh, we like to call it the transaction hash or the transaction ID, which is basically the little link after your Bitcoin or Bitcoin vault has been sent, you can click on a little link in a wallet, it'll open up a web page, and that will show you all of the information, such as the address it was sent from and to, how much was, was sent, what day, what time, and the fee that you paid to send it. It's beautiful. The whole situation is wonderful, guys. And then you have uh, um, your, your Bitcoin. Let's talk about the difference between, say, Bitcoin and the rest of the currencies that are out there in the world, the fiat currencies, like, say, the dollar, the euro. You know, all of these things really matter. So when you talk about fiat money, your creation process happens with the bank or with some type of government institution. But with Bitcoin, it happens in the process of mining. So anybody can basically join and be a miner. OK, with the transaction ledger with fiat currency, it's not transparent at all. It's owned by the government or owned by the banking institutions. You have no right to see it. With Bitcoin, the ledger is distributed, meaning it's decentralized. Anybody can look at, at the history, the balances. It's public. And then you have your transaction fees. The transaction fees for fiat currency guys can be quite expensive especially if you're sending overseas for remittances. I live overseas. I can tell you it's factual. If you send Bitcoin, your transaction fees are about one tenth or less of what they would be sending fiat currency. And the big one, guys, and this happened to me, if you send fiat currency by a bank wire and it's overseas, let's say that you come into the bank at 9 a.m. on Friday morning. Well, that person probably won't get that money to about Tuesday. But if you come in after 11 o'clock on Friday, they probably won't get it till Wednesday. Whereas I can send Bitcoin 24 hours a day and about 10 to 15 minutes that will arrive and the fees will obviously be lower. It doesn't matter if the bank's closed or it's business hours either. That's the beauty of cryptocurrency. Uh, Bitcoin has some wonderful upside to it as well because you have only 21 million coins the last coin will be mined at 2140 that's going to create a problem of what we call scarcity anytime something is scarce 
according to the law of supply and demand, the more scarcer it is, the higher the value goes. Simple laws. This has been in place for years and years and years. And you'll see that on, on the commodity exchange. This is how it works. When something is scarce, the price goes drastically up. Give me just a second, guys. Let me get a drink of water. And then you have uh, what we call decentralization. As I was talking about earlier, a uh, centralized system is basically where the government controls it, the banks and so on and so forth. And a, distri a distributed ledger is decentralized. That's a decentralized system. So anybody can view the, the transactions if they have the TX ID, okay? Um, and then you also have the halving. The halving is a very unique way that cryptocurrency basically avoids inflation. So uh, cryptocurrency is also different than this. Let's say that you have a bunch of fiat currency and now you see what's happening right now in the United States. They printed about three or four trillion dollars of currency. Well, eventually that's going to catch up and the product prices are going to go up, but the currency is going to be worth less. And unfortunately, that's what we call inflation and that will affect people. Just the opposite happens with Bitcoin. When a block is halved every 210,000 blocks, typically after the halving, the coin starts to go up in value. Right now, we're actually seeing that because we had a halving in May 2020 and here we are less than 90 days later and guess what's happening to bitcoin it's starting its time up and that's what happened every single time over these last three times prior to this one so we know that having actually affects coins if you study it the other side of bitcoin is there, there are some goods and bad but this is the other side this is the not so good side because if you you haven't been in the bitcoin space you haven't bought bitcoin already and you don't own a significant chunk for you here's the bad news Already 18,400,000 coins approximately have been mined. That means there are only about 2.6 million coins left. And that means that it's harder to get and more expensive to get right now. Once you send Bitcoin, that transaction is irreversible. You have lost that money forever if you send it to the wrong wallet or to the wrong person who ended up scamming you later. With the other side of that, or the same side of it, but a different problem is the uneven distribution, guys. And that's because nobody paid attention to the beginning when Bitcoin first launched. 61% of all Bitcoin in circulation today is held by just a minority of the wallets. Just 0.06% of Bitcoin wallets hold 61% of all Bitcoin in the market today. That creates an issue because now you have a few whales and you have a, a people that have very little crypto. So what happens is you're buying Bitcoin right now at today's rate, but tomorrow a guy that owns 200,000 Bitcoin decides he wants to dump and he dumps 25,000 Bitcoin to get a bunch of cash, the value of Bitcoin drops significantly and that affects us and it affects the market. What happened with Bitcoin Vault is we solved every one of these solutions, every one of these problems we have a solution for. So with Bitcoin Vault, here's what's different. With Bitcoin, you have a private key. We also have a private key, but we also have two extra keys that they do not have with Bitcoin. Now, I want you to keep in mind, Bitcoin Vault and Bitcoin are identical except for these little things. Bitcoin Vault is an exact copy of Bitcoin Core, okay? It is not a fork. It is the actual same code as Bitcoin when it first began. They went in and they added three extra or two extra keys. The second key is the cancellation key or the theft protection key. It avoids you from being scammed. It avoids your, your uh, coins from being stolen. If you make a user error and somebody gets access to your wallet, you can retrieve now all of your Bitcoin vault within just a few minutes. Very simple by using the second key. And let's say that you went into a store and you're buying merchandise and now because you're buying something, you want to be able to take it out of the store. You have to be able to confirm that transaction quickly. That's what the third key is for. And that's the fast 10 minute transaction key. Because of this theft protection, that makes Bitcoin Vault an even better store value than, say, Bitcoin itself. Uh, the other side of it, as I said earlier, it is not a fork of Bitcoin. It's a, you know exactly Bitcoin Core with some additional features. It's not like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV which would be an additional issue because if you remember back, if anybody was in the industry and when Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV launched, because it was a fork, whatever you had in your wallet for Bitcoin Vault or Bitcoin, 
you got the exact amount of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV sent to your wallet because it was a fork. But with this coin, it's not a fork. Nobody got anything at the very beginning because they mined the coin just like Bitcoin. There will only be 21 million coins. That means all the benefits with Bitcoin and all of the negatives with Bitcoin you don't have in one coin. Here's another massive advantage. This coin, because we launched it with the Genesis coin when we mined it in January 2019. Uh, keep in mind, you can mine this coin with the same ASIC chip that you mine Bitcoin, even the same algorithm, which is called SHA-256. And uh, this coin, when we first started, had 175 coins per block. But in May 2020, it was cut to 150. In November 2020, it'll be cut to 125. And no, May 2021, it'll be cut to 100. November 2021 to 75. May 2022 would be cut to 50. November 2022 to 25. May 2023 to 12 and a half. And in November 2023, it'll be at 6.25 and we'll catch up with Bitcoin and their halving. Now, this coin is secure. It's got advanced anti-theft solutions for the safety of your funds. It's based on Bitcoin Core, as I said earlier, with additional features. It's also flexible. You as the user can decide if you want to make an ultra fast transaction or you want to make an ultra secure transaction. The choice is yours. OK, that's the beauty of this coin. It's an ultimate long store of value, guys, as I talked about this. And let's talk about the theft protection for a second. Uh, the third end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to see a brand new wallet launch when that wallet launches you'll actually be able to see all of this completely transparently in your wallet. So they'll be implementing the second and the third key and every transaction will be alerted on chain for 144 blocks. That's basically a 24 hour period that gives you the ability to cancel the transaction using the recovery key and then get that Bitcoin vault back in your wallet. Uh, as I said earlier, the Bitcoin vault is set to catch the block reward around four to four and a half years as shown on the table. Uh, Bitcoin next having is going to be in May 2024. So we're going to be pretty close to that time span of catching up with them. And then you have your uh, you have what we call the network hash rate, guys. Now, this is a big deal because typically the companies or the coins, I should say, that have the biggest hash power uh, in their ecosystem. These coins are much more stable. They're much more secure. And this is what I'll tell you. Bitcoin is the only coin that has more hash power than Bitcoin Vault today. Uh, that's a very big deal. And I'll show you that, guys, in just a little bit. So let's talk about the, the relationship between Mining City and MindVest. Very simple terms. I'm going to put it to you like this. Mining City is basically the marketing partner for MindVest. MindVest provides all of the, all of the uh, MindVest boxes provides the power, it provides the computers, the setup, everything, and they do it all 100% transparency. Out of every dollar that comes into the company, 35% goes to commissions, 2% goes to company salaries, 6% goes to mining farms, 24% goes to the purchase of mining, mining equipment and maintenance, 3% goes to shipping and taxes, 20% goes into pre-mining, pre and 10% goes into company profit. Now, guys, the nice part about this is we already know MindVest is a very good company in the mining space because they have all of these awards. In fact, actually, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. I'm actually going to show you some of these awards because I actually have them real quick so you guys can actually see. Let's just come right up here. Uh, this is one. Okay, there's one of the awards right there. Here's another award that you guys can actually see. Uh, actually, this is actually from the World Digital Mining Summit, which is owned by Bitmain. Bitmain, actually, you can see their name right here, third down on the left, MindBest. Uh, they were awarded one of the top 10 mining farms in the world, okay? And here's a, here's the actual award as a certificate. Top 10 mining farms loved by miners, presented to MindBest at the World Digital Mining Summit in 2019. This company's been around the block, guys. Uh, they know what they're doing in the cryptocurrency space, okay? They have mining farms right now that you can see in Kazakhstan. They have a 20 megawatt, another 20 megawatt, a 50 megawatt already at full capacity. They're building a current 20 megawatt and 150 watt mega, megawatt facilities right now and another 100 megawatt facility in China. And there's already 50 megawatts in China already open and ready, guys. So we have 
everything that anybody needs. We have a cooperation uh, certificate between the two companies showing what each one does. And the advantage of this partnership, guys, is very unique. We have a stable power supply. MindBest basically has a contract with the government of Kazakhstan. They buy electricity low, sell it to us at 4.75 cents per kilowatt. They also furnish the MindBest box, which IO invented. That's actually gives us an advantage too, because it's got a built-in cooling system. It's activated automatically by design. It eliminates the need for separate air conditioning system. And as a result, we have lower electricity costs than most farms. That means more profits in your pocket. We also have complete transparency. Anybody here can rent out hash power for a period of 1100 days and they can calculate their mining uh, using a little thing called miningapp.me. Guys, very simple. So let's talk about how to get involved. Obviously, somebody invited you here to see this, guys. Go back to the person that invited you here. Don't come to me or come to Darren. Go back to the person that invited you here. Get their link and get signed up directly through them, okay? Buy a mining plan. But when you do, make sure that you're buying a mining plan for Bitcoin Vault, not Bitcoin, Bitcoin Vault. You can pay for it right now in Bitcoin or in Bitcoin Vault, and I'll show you that later. After you buy a plan, Roughly 10 days later, it'll start mining. On the day of the 11th day, the timer will run out in the back office, and I'm gonna show you all this in a few minutes. When it runs out, one to two hours later after the, the back office has calculated everybody's commissions, you'll be paid out, and you can withdraw it, turn it into Bitcoin, you can do whatever you wanna do with it, guys. It's a very simple way to make money, and you don't have to promote to make money here. So we're gonna talk about that today. This comp plan, guys, is one of the best comp plans I've ever seen in the business. Now, I'm going to only talk about three things. And when I say I'm only going to talk about, I'm only going to talk about these three things at all, because these are the only three things that matter to me, because this is where all the money is, okay? So whenever somebody comes in, they basically buy a mining plan. The first five plans you guys are going to see, whether it be 300, whether it be Bitcoin, I should say, or Bitcoin Vault, they're $100 a terahash. So you buy a $300 plan, you get three terahash. 600, six terahash. 1,200, 12 terahash. 2,400, 24 terahash. Or 4,200 will give you 42 terahash. When you buy a platinum package, you get a 12 terahash bonus. So you get 138 terahash, which brings it down to like $93 and change per terahash, okay? So you buy a plan, 10 days later, it, it's online, it starts to mine, 11th day, Timer runs out, you get your first paycheck, okay? And this is the beauty of it. Whenever you're actually mining, guys, uh, with this company, there's a few things you need to be aware of. Number one, the ranking system is very important because as you rank up, you can earn more money in the company. So let's talk about what happens when somebody comes in, okay? We have a $300 plan. When somebody buys a $300 plan, that's basically like a placeholder in the binary it doesn't really give them full access to the comp plan, but it locks them into a spot that they can come back and upgrade and build later. As a citizen, you get a $600 plan. If you want to be a city builder, you have to have a $600 plan and you have to sponsor at least five people that buy a $600 plan or higher. Okay, Five citizens. Now remember, what's a citizen? $600 plan. So city builder, five citizens, and they have to have $12,000 in total team volume. That means it didn't have to all come from you. It could have came from one of the five people you signed up. That could actually count towards your volume. You have a city developer. You have to own a $600 plan. You have to sponsor five citizens. You gotta have $60,000 in total team volume. And you need to have three city builders in your team with at least one in your team A, okay? That doesn't mean you had to sponsor all of them, but you have to have three city builders in your team with at least one in team A. Uh, city manager, you have to own at least $2,400 in mining. You have to have uh, five citizens that you referred, $300,000 in team volume, and at least three city developers in your team with one from team A. As a city chief manager, you have to have $4,200 in team mining. <coughs> You have to have $2.4 million in volume sponsored the same five citizens. You have to have three city managers in your team tree and at least one in your team A. As a city mayor, you have to have 12 six in, in personal purchases. You have to have sponsored five citizens, 12 million in team volume with at least three city managers in your team and one in team A. As a governor, you have to have $13,800 in personal purchases 
five citizens sponsored and a hundred million dollars in team volume. Now guys, listen, I know some of you are going to say hundred million. Nobody's ever going to do it. Well, I got bad news for you. We already had somebody do it. In fact, he didn't just do it. He did it more than once. Okay. And that's a Neil Park. You also have a piece to your team that we call the team tree, which is really the unilevel. But they've divided it into two sides. Your unilevel basically gives you a left side and a right side. Your left side is your team A, which is your first five people that buy a package. You cannot control this, okay? You can only control the binary and where you place people, but the unilevel side or the team tree side, it's automatically the first five people that pay will go into your team A. In your team B, it's from six to infinity, okay? Much more lucrative and a bigger spot for you to be in. Now, you also have a binary tree. Your binary tree is basically your, your uh, the two sides of the binary. So basically, it operates off a point system. And every time you have five points on the left, five points on the right, you're going to make a cycle. That cycle is going to pay you $200. So if somebody basically buys a primary plant, which is $300, they get half a point. Okay, there's half a point with that for you to place in your binary. $600, you got one point. $1,200 gives you two. $2,400 gives you four. $4,200 gives you seven. And a 12-6 package will give you 21. So this is how it works. When you join, this will be your main spot. Now, if you're smart and you work this like me, you're going to come in here. You're going to sponsor yourself on your top left, and you're going to sponsor yourself on your top right. Because this is the best way to make income because now you can double dip. So here's what happens. After you sponsored five people from this position, the only two positions you should be working from are your left and your right. So let's say your lower left position goes out and sponsors a $4,200 package, gets seven points. $4,200 gets another seven points. This, this side on your lower right, he sponsors a $2,400, gets four points, sponsors a seven points for uh, $4,200 for seven points. Now all of a sudden you have seven points here and seven points here. So five and five is one cycle. That spot made $200. Four and seven, he still needs one point here. So no, no $200 here, but 14 and 11, now you have two multiples of five. You have 10 and 10. So that would be another $400 in cycle bonus. So you just made $600 right there off the cycle. And after you cycle, the points are then deducted. So this would be left with two and two. This one would be, be uh, left with... Uh, with four and one, okay? So you guys understand how it works. Your binary tree bonus is one of the best ways to make money in the company, guys, and it's very, very, very simple, okay? As I said, every time you have five points left, five points right, you're gonna cycle, you're gonna make $200, okay? Now, as a resident, you can only cycle one time per day for $200. As a city builder, you can cycle four times a day for 800 bucks a day. As a city builder, you can cycle five times for $1,000 a day. As a city builder, six times for $1,200 a day. As a city manager, eight times for $1,600 a day, guys. And as a city chief manager, 10 times for $2,000 a day. As a, a city mayor, 12 times for $2,400 a day. And as a governor, 14 times for $2,800 a day. And guys, let me tell you something. $2,800 a day would probably make most people extremely happy. But here's the crazy part. That's the small side of the comp plan. This is the smallest money you can possibly make right there, $2,800 a day. And I'm going to prove it to you right here because we have this little thing called the CP2, which is the binary matching bonus. Now, here's the crazy part. I'm about to tell you something nuts because this is only $10, okay? Every time somebody, you get a matching bonus in your binary, you'll make $10 from the matching, okay? I should say in the unit level. So anytime somebody in your unit level on your, this is how it works. Your resident, you have one level. Citizen has two levels. City builder gets four levels. City developer gets six. City manager gets eight levels. City chief manager gets nine. Mayor gets 10. Governor gets 11. So let me tell you how those levels work. So let's say I joined. I went out and I signed up my business partner, Darren Little. Darren went out and signed up his son. So Darren is my first level. His son is my second level. If his son signs up somebody, they're my third. If they sign up somebody, that's my fourth. It goes so on and so forth all the way to 11 levels. Anybody that are 11 levels down, you can make a $10 match. So let's assume that you have reached governor status. And as a governor, as a, once you're, you've reached governor, guys, as 11 levels, you can actually earn 
a 600, you could earn up to, I should say, $612,900 per month just from $10 check matches. This is six times more lucrative than the daily cycles. This comp plan is bonkers. One of the most lucrative, lucrative comp plans I've ever seen, but that's not it. This is another piece to it that's called the CP3 plan bonus, okay? Now this deal works like this. Whenever you sponsor somebody in your team A of the unit level, you earn 5% on their, on their purchase. Whenever you sponsor somebody from six to infinity, you make 10% in commissions on their purchases okay now that's pretty good but here's where it gets unique because now you have this little thing in the B side called the BA structure so anytime somebody in your BA structure meaning anytime you sponsored somebody from six to infinity anybody in their A team you're gonna earn an additional 5% commissions for any mining plans that they buy so as a resident, unfortunately, you don't participate in this. As a citizen, you actually get 10 levels of this. As a city builder, you get 15. As a city developer, you get 20. As a city manager, you get 30 levels. And as a city chief manager, city mayor, governor, there are absolutely no limits to this comp plan, guys. Now, I've showed you really uh, right here, guys. Uh, whoops, let me get out of this. I hit the wrong button. Okay, and there's more, more to this comp plan, guys. I'm just going to tell you up front. This is one of the most lucrative deals I've ever seen. But those are the massive ways to make massive, massive money. Now, let me come back here. Let me stop, uh, stop sharing for a second because I want to show you actually my back office. And, and, you know, I'm one of those people, guys, I don't believe in hype. I don't believe in nonsense or lies. I believe in just putting it right in your face and letting you try to absorb it for a second. And I will promise you one thing in the very near future, I'm going to have a couple people that have been in this a lot longer with me, come on and show you their income streams because it's massive, it's monstrous. You won't see anything like this anywhere, guys. I'm telling you, this is by far one of the best comp plans. Now, I showed you my my uh, earnings last week. You saw what it was. It's already went up again, like insane amount of money, guys. Insane amount of money. I am at the city manager rank, okay, which means I have the ability to earn 1600 dollars every single day and here's the crazy part i want you to watch this real quick i'm going to show you the 1600 dollars. this is the uh 17th which is basically this morning i got paid that for yesterday's work but every single time you will see i am maxed at the 1600 dollars every day and in fact if i took you over to my citizens tree you'll see 40 points on one side right there by about noon of every single day uh, it, it automatically, I'm automatically earning that. And then I have other, other positions, my wife's position, you know, another position here is going to cycle. My wife's going to cycle. Boom, boom, boom. Guys, this is the most lucrative deal I've ever seen bar none. Uh, it's one of the easiest deals I've ever worked bar none. What I like about this deal, it's clean. It's very, very, very clean. If you guys are, are looking for an opportunity to make real income, I'm telling you, this is where you want to be. You want to be here. All you have to do is go back, get with the person that got you here, that invited you, have them walk you through the sign up process. If you guys need Bitcoin Vault, we're here to help you. Whatever it takes to help you guys make money, we're here to help you. Every Monday night, we do this presentation. Every Thursday, we do a closed door on Zoom to teach you and train you and show you exactly what to do. And beginning probably in the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to take one more day and I'm actually going to shoot the orientation video. So you guys will actually have a video for, for onboarding people that will help people get started and very, very simple. OK, all of this company is uh, one person asked, this is not decentralized mining. Yes, it is decentralized mining. This is built on the Bitcoin blockchain. It can't be anything else but decentralized. OK, if you want to get able to set up and be mining this, you have to go through WDMO. That's how it works. OK. Very simple company, wonderful company to be with, guys. And if you're looking for something that's just marvelous, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best companies I have ever seen, bar none. So please tune in and, and be here next week, guys. But get back with the person that got you here and get started. Thanks a million for being on for the presentation tonight. On behalf of myself and my business partner, Darren Little, who's laying on the sofa. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to wish you guys a very, uh, a very well, big welcome, actually, on both of our behalves to the Crypto Wealth Club, guys. Come join our team, and we'll teach you guys how to make money. Guaranteed. Isn't that right, Darren? You bet. You bet. All right, guys. Have a great night. We'll talk soon. Mm-hmm.